Divine Path Psychic. This is your daily tarot reading for December 22nd. This is for the fire signs. Aries, Leo, and Sag. I'm going to do a different deck today. But this is for you. Today the sun moves into Capricorn. That's exciting. And I'm just going to pull them up here. All right. So we got the Ace of Wands. Boy, oh boy. There's some great idea that's going to come out of nowhere. A spark, an idea of just like uh, something that you can actually go on that's like, oh, you didn't think of it before, but now it's on fire and there's like sparks flying and you're ready to make something happen. The Princess of Wands. This is someone, okay, so you get the idea and maybe you don't know exactly how to follow through with it, but you're going to use your intuition and follow through anyway and just take the steps because you are a queen and king in training so this is you know really accessing that power and finding your way through to get to that new idea that you've got you will find a way so this is the future the emperor so once you follow through in the future position this says that you will uh, be able to be the manager of whatever it is that you came up with like you will have it down packed you're going to be able to be in control watching uh, every move and just seeing everything follow through in the manner that you're looking at the past is four of wands also a fire sign this is normally a marriage card but this could also be the marriage of the masculine and the feminine within so if you're in um in control of your feelings and you're able to like bring your mind and your feelings together you'll be able to create and this is saying that you find the balance you found something that works for you that um going to keep you um happy and moving forward good card the recent past wow all fire signs good this is for aries leo sag um this is the queen of wands so you have someone helping you and guiding you and um because what's crossing your path is you know someone that's a little bit younger than the queen so she's um the apprentice and perhaps you are the queen and you're found an apprentice that you need to um take um note of that way you can uh, help that person maybe you just know that you're the right one to uh, guide them and and maybe you're the one that's being guided you just will be drawn to each other it'll be a spark it's like karma it's something coming together that you two are meant to be together ten of pentacles in the future position so this is going to be the recent future this is the house, uh, all of your accomplishments materialistically, being able to feel relaxed at home. Um, you did the work, you get to uh, finally reap the benefits and just be in your comfort zone. And this also today is the sun moving into Capricorn. So emotionally with this moon in Cancer, the full moon, you're really able to be in control, balanced with your emotions, and now you um, will be able to enjoy home. All right, so there's something in the past that is come already to an end. It's over. Cut your losses. Walk away. Um, you know, it's not about like if this is a death of a family member or the death of someone in particular during this holiday season, it's not that it's over. It's just a transformation from one uh, event to the next. So it is actually, you know, in the environment that, you know, this year is coming to an end. It's a close. And with the full moon in Cancer, that too is an ending. So whatever you set your intentions on, in um, November with the new moon, it is come to a, a, a closure. In your environment is the high priestess. This is always intuition, being a psychic yourself, and just relying on that uh, knowledge from within that you are a divine creature made by an unbelievable, wonderful force. We all have psychic abilities, but this is saying right here, you know, with this balance of the yin and the yang and really using even with this card here all right so this is the merging of the two the male and the female the yin and the yang this is saying that you have 
accomplished that marriage. And here is saying that now you're using that um, balance to, and this moon here is a receptive part. So anything is coming from there and it's like a bowl and you're really absorbing it. And that's why. So with this Cancer full moon, again, it's like all of these emotions, the, um, the nurturing, the loving, the kindness, we show that to ourselves and then we are a reflection to the world for them to show that too in your mind and thinking thought process is the princess of cups this is also representing the full moon in cancer just really um enjoying life enjoying what you have right now because this too shall pass so take the time energy effort to nurture yourself love yourself take the tea drink the tea uh, and relax and just give thanks and praise that the sun does come up and the days are getting longer and that you have the opportunity to be with your family and friends and if you're not you get to be with the trees and the the maybe the little snowflakes that are happening this is an emotional time to get in touch with yourself and all right so the nine of swords in the end if you don't balance out with the marriage card the four of wands and you don't balance out with the high priestess with um having the na the male and female energy you know then your thoughts will take over because you're blocking out your heart and when you do that then the nine of swords is one of the most sad sorrowsome cards in the deck so it's really saying that even if there was a loss or something's coming to the end don't think too much about it go more from your heart and use your intuition and know that you still can talk to the past you know that inner child even you can go back and heal the inner child that has that pain of loss and suffering maybe you lost a sibling a long time ago and it made you bitter for the holidays and you don't want to celebrate or um just really this is about letting it go taking a deep breath loving yourself and accepting yourself right where you're at you've done the work um, it's okay to cry, but it's also a time to let go. And with the uh, full moon, maybe you're feeling more than you are comfortable with. And so you would rather turn to the mind. This is saying balance out the heart and the mind and really take a, a step back and um, use your intuition. We are all one. When there is a separation of the spirit from the body, the spirit goes into a place where it becomes one with the spirit again so um, they're not gone they're not lost they're there and if you want to talk to the people you can you can even go and speak to yourself and, and allow yourself to forgive you, uh, any wrongdoings so maybe this is also saying that if you've done anything wrong it's a time to apologize and to just step and move forward it's um being humble with yourself letting it go Maybe writing it down and burning uh, the letter in the fire. But outside of that, you have really great ideas. You, um, Everything's going to be coming in and it's going to be okay. So that's your daily tarot reading for December 22nd for my fire signs. Have a beautiful day.